Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing wonderful today. It is, I think it's August 18th. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. What day is it, Molly? Millie's here. I don't know if you can see Millie. Yeah, she's, whenever, now that we've got the now that we've got the doggy, every time I, I sit down at the table, she um, she's kind of up my hiney because <laughs> she she knows she's safe up here from Charlie. I don't know where Charlie. I just saw him on the move. Um, anyway, we 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 have a puppy. If you haven't been watching some of the other videos, but he's really <laughs> really a very large puppy. <laughs> um, Anyway, I am Lisa Kester with Wild Acorns Art Studio, and today I am doing something kind of different. Um, I just learned about these, they're called ATC cards, and um, I just learned about them not too long ago. You guys probably have already heard about them. <laughs> I'm always, you know, kind of late to the show. I don't know. I don't have any makeup on today, so if I look terrible, it's like, uh. <laughs> it was kind of a last minute thing to do a video because um gosh it's kind of late at night it's like 8 30 at night so I hope i can get this uploaded tonight so you guys can see it in the morning but anyway um so these ATC, atc cards they are just little just little art cards just little fun cards and a lot of artists host these atc cards swaps and um, they usually do like 20 at a time. So you mail 20 in and then you get 20 back of all different cards from people from all over the country or, you know, even the world, um, depending on, you know, where their spectrum of their followers are. And um, th these here that I'm going to show you are from Amy Hand. She is from the Camden Main Library. And she does them every month so you can um, google amy hand um you could probably go to the camden main library too and find her but amy hand you can find her on instagram and if you're interested in doing any um she's always looking for new people every month and there's a theme every month and i don't know um this one was nature so let me um let me bring you down a little bit might be easier to let me hold them up there we go okay so here is one by Lynn Lisa Lynn creates just to give you an idea what they look like here's one here this is by Jill Connor I can't read I can't read that but see how they some people actually print them out I mean they, and they save these um, but like I said this theme was nature this one is by a friend of mine. I've told you about her website before, uh, Maureen Bourne. She uh, does Bourne Creations. She's a very good artist. Um, and she just put music on the back of hers. But I won't go take these too long. But this, you know, it's it's fun to see. Like, look at all these fun cards. This is um, this one's done by Echo Dying outside, and I don't know that. That process but somehow they put those leaves on there and set them out in the Sun this is thistle hand draw and see how people just write their information on the back and I bet you know who did that card <laughs> see I just put my um, my card on the back and it's a way for people to find you you know but yeah, see, I just did a little fishy pond, which, you know, if you know me, that's not a big surprise. <laughs> um, there's one there. All ATC cards are two and a half by three and a half. And, um, and some people do different themes. Some don't. This one, this one, um, I think Amy Hand did this one herself. See how she put Miss Miss Amy Hand on the back. You can screenshot this and probably get her information. Um, you want to screenshot this, but not cute. I saw her do those, but yeah. So all of them are two and a half by three and a half, 
and they're fun to keep together and just kind of um, you know like let's say you're painting if you need inspiration um, it's fun to go through them I just they just for me they they bring a smile to my face I, I love um, just looking through them and they actually fit in a one of those clear plastic um, containers for a pack of 24 crowns and this one here and here's got two more now this one um, she stamped it and she painted on it but it's just so simple but it's so cute and then here's one of my favorites too now this one you can tell she put um, like gloss over just these blue leaves which I thought was really uh, fun this one's by I just can't I can't re read that it looks like G-A-I-A -A. Robinson maybe I don't know but anyway there's so much fun and I've got I think this is my third set so I've only I've only done about four of them and um, they are they are so much fun to do so I thought I would share how I do mine let me move you back I thought I was gonna move you closer but I don't think you can see the whole page there we go that kind of a shadow but I'm not sure why but I've got a bunch of lights on me that is makes me look fat doesn't it this thing <laughs> I noticed it on the other video I'm like boy I look kind of fat in that video <laughs> oh you know you, you do these videos and then you look back at yourself you're like wow you know at least you could have put a little makeup on or something <laughs> but who cares right but there's kind of a shadow I'm not sure why the shadows are well it is nighttime see and we, we don't have very good light um Trying to think if there's another way to add some more light. Hang on just a second. Don't go anywhere. Turn some lights on around here. Turn some lights out on my patio. Let's see. You can see my my chair, all my cushions. I have like three cushions here. Oh, because I, I I like to sit up high, and this this chair is like you sit too low. So I got a whole bunch of cushions there. Anyway, so, <laughs> where was I? So there's a little shadow. Hope you guys don't care. But anyway, so okay, so the cards are two and a half by three and a half. And some people paint individual cards. Some people use um, a deck of cards because a deck of cards is two and a half by three and a half. So they, they just white gesso one side and paint on there. And they, um, and they use a deck of cards. And that's fun too because then they're already all cut out. Um, so, but what I do is... I've done it both ways. I've done individual ones, but this way is the easiest way. So this paper here, it's watercolor paper. Now this is a cold press because I like the texture. Hot press is smooth. Think about, you know, if it was ironed. Um, and cold press is kind of a rough texture, which I, I love. This is 140 pound. This is 12 by 18, okay? So it doesn't really matter with the quality of the paper. I mean, you're not you're not doing you know archival paintings or anything like that. Um, so then what I did on the back, okay, this is the smooth side. I just got a ruler, and I measured out three and a half by two and a half. I just marked all the the things and drew the grid so that when I'm done painting, I will. But you know what? I, hmm. So I can turn it over and then cut it out from the back. But what I didn't realize is 
I sometimes I like to see where my designs are going to be, but I'm not going to be able to do that. I think usually I do it on the front, but I just watched a video by Laley Miller who does hers on the back. So I thought I'll do them on, on the back. But the, when, when you do them on the front and you're painting over it, then you, you lose your grids. And um, so maybe that's why she does them on the back, which does make sense. Um, but you can kind of, I guess I can kind of get an idea because uh, I want to make sure that the, so this, this month, the theme is faces. So I am going to do, I was kind of doing some little test things here. I'm going to do, I'm going to do these flowers here. So I'm just going to do a very simple uh, design. You don't want to do anything too, um, too detailed because you got to do 20 of them. So, so let's see here. How is everybody doing? I just want to thank everybody too for all the kind, kind words um, about the loss of my mom. I sure appreciate it. it. Means the world to me more than you could know. Let's see. I am just. I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I don't like not knowing where these grids are, but I don't want to paint on this side because this is the smooth side and I don't like to paint on the smooth side. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with it. It'll be fine. Right. Just let it go, Lisa. Just let it go. <laughs> don't try to control it too much. All right. So the center of my flowers. So what, what, what I was saying is, uh, the theme, this, month is faces and I thought about it a long time about what what kind of faces I wanted to do and I don't want to do anything in too much detail so I'm going to do flowers with faces and I thought those would be very happy um, very happy things to do right so I'm going to start out and like I said I don't really know exactly where these are going to be with the grid which is kind of it's kind of scary <laughs> but you know as long as I have um, I know that there's an extra little strip over here um, I don't want <clears throat> this is watercolor this is not acrylic There we go. So watercolors are, they're, well, they're easier in a way, but they're harder in a way. Like you gotta be very um, careful that you don't oversaturate, you know, with the colors. Like you can't go back and go over a color too much. Um, it's not like, acrylics that will just cover it now I've got some extra space let's see that's on this side okay no it's on this side so this is extra space and this is extra space I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it to remind myself so the faces of the flowers are going to be in the orange so I don't want this orange too dark but I want them big enough that the faces will show up it's so weird when you lose somebody because Every once in a while, I just want to hop in the car and drive over to the nursing home and see her. And it's so bizarre to me that she's not there. But, well, like I've told people in my, on my YouTube comments that she's in a better place. So she's up there with Jesus.
and Charlie. Oh my goodness, we we are <laughs> trying to get him house trained. He he's doing better. Um and he hadn't had a accident in the house for um gosh almost a week and we thought, oh, we got it made. And then today this is the extra. And then today he um goes to the dining room. He, he was he was heading in the direction of the back of the house. Heading in the direction of the door. <laughs> but he didn't make it. And, but he's uh he's such a he's such a lovable dog. He just is so sweet. He just loves on everybody who comes over and that's really what I wanted out of a dog. Um We've had all kinds of dogs over the years, and, um, and they were all lovable. I mean, they all, but, you know, like our boxer, um, our boxer Barney, he was a sweetie pie to me, but he was very protective of the house, and so he didn't like everybody who came over. He didn't like the mailman. Sorry to all the mailmen out there, but um, at the time, we had another dog, and um, the mailman um, sprayed him with mace or something. And don't ask me why, because that dog wouldn't have heard a flea. He was he was a he was a um, big old sheep dog, and he was just you know as friendly as can be. But of course, you know they don't know that. They I'm sure they run into lots of dogs that are not friendly. So. I hope this isn't distracting you. This, I just want to kind of get an idea of where that it stops right here, right here. Okay. Okay. But um, he's been such, he's been like therapy because he takes my mind off of pretty much everything. Because <laughs> you can't let him out of your sight. Like right now he's kind of quiet. I, I think he's sleeping over here, I hope. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to do the petals. We're just kind of we're kind of doing daisies. These are, you know, just like I said, very, just very simple, fun. This isn't like, you know, some painting people are going to hang up. <laughs> These are just supposed to be fun for people to get. Yeah, it's a, I just, you know, whenever I do one of these, it's like I can't wait till... I'm so excited when they come in the mail. So, you know, it's a, I, like I said, I know a lot of... Um, there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of people who collect these, and I, I had never heard of them before. And then I got involved with um, Amy Hand. Like I said, she's from Maine. Um, she's the librarian at the Camden Library up in Maine. And she lives on a big farm up there. But she, she does them every month. Sometimes during the summer, she does two a month. Now the fish pond ones took me, they will probably take me longer than these. This seems to be going a little bit faster. There we go. So these should be, these should be fun. Just some simple, simple little flowers. Nothing too fancy. Can we turn some lights on in there? Kind of help the, kind of just shadows. I don't know if you turn the lights on in there, it'll help the shadows. 
I turned these on up here. Oh, yeah. Kind of dark. Let's see. Yeah, there's still kind of shadows, but that's all right. You guys can see, right? The hardest, the hardest part of these is probably going to be going back and doing the background, since it's if it was, um, if it was acrylics, I would do the background first, and then just paint the flowers over the top, which may have been, which may have been easier than what I'm going to do, but. Um, you know we'll, we'll figure it out sometimes watercolors are just more loose you know more which is kind of what I was aiming for just a loose fun painting The kitty cats do not like Charlie. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm sure in time they will. Because he, you know, he just wants to play with them and they don't, they do not want to play with him. Now you could you could do the same thing on a slab of clay with underglazes and then just uh cut them up and make them into tiles or brooches. I used to always say brooches. They laugh at me at where I work. <laughs> Cause I always call them I thought it was brooches. I'm like, no Lisa, it's brooch. But it looks like brooch, right? It's B-R-O-O-C-H. I just don't understand it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness. So I'm just going to do a, a green, a light green wash on the back. Now, um, this Laley Miller, L-A-L-Y Miller class that I'm taking online, it's, it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's about AT, well, they're the size of ATC cards, but she calls them, um, um, she calls them something different. And her online class I think basically the cards, you know, she's got words on them and stuff. So I think, she, you know, she puts hers in a, in like a book form or I think she, well, I know she's having them printed into cards and then you can buy a whole box of her cards. Like, um, and she, she, she does beautiful work. Um, her, her paintings are very loose and the colors are just beautiful. And, you know, like I said, if you're doing pottery, um, you can do the same thing with underglazes. Underglazes work, you know, pretty much the same way. But, you know, as I've talked about it before, high fire underglazes, um, you know, cone five, they do have a chance of burning out a little more. But if you're doing low fire, they really don't burn out at all. I want to do underlining on this too, and I'm hoping that this dries fast enough for me to do that on the video. I do have a blow dryer, which I could do put on here real quick.
I like how the orange is fading into some of these. This is kind of a cute little pattern, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't mind having like a dish towel or something with uh, this on there. Be fun, fun to put in your kitchen. I'm just watering down this yellow pretty much. I thought about putting um, like a little punch a hole in all the cards and then putting them on like a metal ring. I thought that would be fun too. I may have to stop the camera while, it, while this dries. We'll see. Let's see. To make sure there's some on every one. I'm worried about, let's see, there's a card here. Well, it is what it is. I guess I could put a little orange face here just to be sure that I had enough interest on this card. We don't want to get any nope, we don't want anybody getting gypped. Gypped out of a flower. So now I'm just kind of going back and making sure that like the petals are all nice and pretty. I was just kind of slapping them on there before. So I'm just kind of looking at them and making sure they all look good. It looks like Millie went over and hopped in her box. And, but yeah, the girls, the kitty cats, they, they want nothing to do with Charlie yet. I've been trying to take him outside. We have an electric fence outside. And I've been trying to take him out there to train him on the electric fence. We've we've had an, we've had our electric fence for gosh. Oh, at least 15. Let's see. I think we've had well, yeah, 15 years. 15 years we've had this electric fence for all our dogs that we've had and it's worked great for all of them. Um, we use Dog Watch. We like them because you could change the volume and the intensity and there were more options with that one. And it wor it's worked great for us, but um, every time I take Charlie out there to train him on it, he lays down. I can't, <laughs> I can't get him to go through the fence. I try to drag him through the fence <laughs> so he can hear the beep and then I can tell him no no and he just lays he, every time he goes out he just lays he walks about 20 feet and he lays down <laughs> oh gosh he, he is something else he sleeps next to me on the floor of my bed all night he stays right next to me doesn't leave my side and um um, he, uh, he's usually never more than a couple feet from me. But he, you know, if I go outside, he goes, goes crazy. We're trying to crate train him too. We had to put him in his crate when my, for my mom's funeral. And, oh boy, he did not like that. He, he, he poo-pooed all over the the crate he had it all over him I had to come home and give him a bath so now I'm trying to do a better job about crate training him by they said to put um, treats in the crate like keep throwing treats in there and then um, and then let him go and get them without closing the door and make him feel safer and more comfortable in there and uh, hopefully that that works 
And we're trying to car train him too, because he keeps throwing up in the car. <laughs> oh goodness, he's been a handful. But we love him. We knew, you know, when you get a puppy, you have to know that the first three months are not going to be easy. Not the first three months of their life, the first three months that you have them. Because everything's new and unless, you know, the person you got them from was training them, you know, you got you got to do all the training yourself. Which, you know, some dogs, that's really easy, but I was hoping it will be easy for Charlie because he's part poodle and part Great Pyrenees and they're supposed to be very smart dogs, but I don't know. We'll see. He's... He's eating my tomato plants. He likes to go out and take the cherry tomatoes off my tomato plants. And Sophie used to like to do that, my other dog. I used to have to fight her for my, fight her for my cherry tomatoes. <laughs> oh, goodness. Animals really are fun. Okay. So I think I'm done there. Try to dry it off a little bit. Oh. I have a blow dryer. Let's see if it's plugged in. I can do that real quick. Hold your ears. I don't know how loud this thing is. I think it's plugged in. Nope. 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 It's not plugged in. Let's see here. Let's plug this puppy in. Okay. Now let's try this real quick. like two bucks at the thrift store so if you need one for your artwork don't pay full price so I think I'm just gonna dab up if there's any puddles and that's good enough good enough okay so I'm just I'm gonna really water down this green Let's see how this goes. Boy, it's pitch dark outside. I remember when it used to stay light till 10 o'clock. You can tell that summer is coming to an end here in the U.S. I'm always sad when summer comes to an end. I do like pumpkin season, but it just seems like summers go by so fast. I'm sure it's probably even worse up north. There we go. I know some people paint like this even on their um, acrylic paints. And I never, I never knew that. I, I always just painted, you know, did the background first and painted over it. But I, uh, you know, was never, never much of a painter. I love to paint, but I've never been great at painting. I was, you know, doing pottery. So, yeah, this would make a good, um, a good towel. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of this yellow. These, these are a little bit thin. There we 
go. I have to try to keep my paint brushes for my watercolors separate from my acrylics because the acrylics are a little bit stiffer brush and it's you know the acrylics acrylic paints are hard on paint brushes that's why I got that soap that I'm always telling you guys about that does help what are you doing Millie hmm do you see I'm painting here huh feel so bad for the kitty cats because you know even when Archie was alive our dog they were pretty much king of the roost but not with Charlie around got a little bit of a different color on there and I want this light green it's kind of such a happy color isn't it and right now, we need all the happiness we can get, don't we? So I'm making puddles here, which is um, not going to be very conducive to drying it anytime soon, but... Like I said, I can just stop the video and restart it. Not a big deal. It just takes a li little longer to upload when I do that because I had to put it into an app called InShot and then wait for it to um, add the two together and wait for it to upload. And then I have to reverse it. And I think which I'll have to do anyway. So what do you guys think so far? I think it's going to look really cute. Especially when I get to outline it. You know, that's my favorite part. It's the outline. I may even break out a new marker for this. <laughs> everybody getting ready for fall shows? I am. Um, I've been painting pumpkins on wood. Um, that's, that's another class that I want to do where I take um, I don't know if you can see you can't see over here but I've got you know there's you can buy those big thick books of colored and textured paper and um, have you know so they have flowers and all sorts of I mean all sorts of different patterns um, <clears throat> all different colors and and tearing them into pieces and making the shape of a pumpkin on wood and so I did a test and I wasn't I can't say that I was 100% happy with with my test piece. So I found some paper that is a little bit more, has more oranges, oranges in it so that the pumpkin stands out better against the brown wood. So I want to do a video on that. Because, you know, if you guys, because you can do that on paper. And you could even do it on pottery with um, um, transfers. You can cut out a bunch of transfers of all different patterns. Like paint your underglazes on first. Then lay your transfers over the top of the colors. 
and do a pumpkin or flowers or anything that way. So, like I said, so a lot of this, um, you know, does transfer to pottery, especially, like I said, if you do underglazes, it doesn't transfer as well if you're um, not doing underglazes because you really can't do this kind of thing with um, regular glazes. You could, but I think they would, a lot of them would run into each other. I haven't done any pottery here at the house for quite a while. It's, it's really been hard to do art of any kind. Like I have to, I enjoy it so much, but I've had to push myself to come in here and do pottery because oh, with everything, you know, that's happened with my mom and, and then losing Archie and it's, it's hard to get out of that, uh, you know, kind of depressing mode, but But, you know, art is uh, such therapy. I taught one of my, one of my students um, last year. Um, she was taking art therapy in college. And she's really good. Really good artist. She, she you know, doing art of, all, art of all kinds. And she was doing mainly hand building. And she had a lot more patience than I do in hand building, especially when she would do the coiling. I just don't have that patience to do the coiling. For me, I'd rather just sit down at the wheel and throw it. Last week, I, um, <laughs> I threw two giant uh, doggy bowls so Charlie couldn't knock his water bowl over. <laughs> they were pretty heavy. I thought, well, he's not going to be able to pick up these. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> this is, this is taking a little longer than I thought, but but you guys don't mind, do you? You just stay here and chit chat. There we go. It was so nice here today, and it's going to be nice tomorrow. It's supposed to be only a high of 77. So I said, maybe we'll turn our air conditioning off. Give it a break. I'd love to open the windows. The only problem is we are kind of close to the street. So, um, you know, you hear the buses going up and down the street like at 7 in the morning. And sometimes you hear the animals out there and we hear the owls hooting. And um, sometimes you hear the coyotes over there. Well, I haven't heard them in a while. I don't like the coyotes. I know they're animals too, but I just oh gosh, when they when they go after something, oh it just gives me chills. I can't stand it. I've been watching um, across from me there's like I say at least forty acres, probably more, of woods. And um, 
I've been watching these bunnies hopping around over there. They started out as little little bunnies. I don't know if I told you, but I I had I brought one over here because we thought the mama had got hit by a lawnmower. So I brought one of the bunnies home here to one of the babies. I was going to try to bottle feed it and take care of it. And then that night the mother showed up. So I guess it was one of the babies that got hit. And um, so I was so happy to see the mama. So I took the baby back over there and put the baby back in the nest. And my brother said that he saw the mama come get it. So hopefully he wasn't lying to me. <laughs> They know, they know what a soft heart I have for animals. He could have lied to me, but hopefully not. Sometimes we have hunters up the street that, I don't know where they, you know, they're, they're bow hunters and they, I don't know where they shoot the deer from. I mean, you, you can't just shoot them in your backyard. You know, there's seasons and there's um how do i get off on this tangent of deer hunting um <laughs> um yeah but I, I saw a deer go through my side yard with a arrow stuck out of it and i thought oh gosh it just just broke my heart you know and then you see this hunter come running you know half an hour later looking for it running through the yard and i'm like oh you I'm not going to say what I thought of him, but I, I just, you know, if you're hunting them to eat, you know, then, you know, for me, do it humanely, do it with a gun, make sure the poor animal doesn't suffer, but I can't, I can't take that bow and arrow thing, gosh, my, my brothers are hunters and not so much anymore, but they used to be. And I always hated that. I remember as a kid, my um, my dad, <laughs> he'd take the boys, because I have four brothers. I'm the only girl. I had, actually had five brothers. I always forget my baby brother who passed away. Um, but anyway, I had um, four brothers and um, or, you know, and my father would always take them hunting and they'd go pheasant hunting. And then so the boys would come home and they'd have to, I guess, pluck the feathers from the pheasant. But my dad never ate them. He'd make us kids eat them. <laughs> and I remember, I remember there was always, there was like buckshot still in the pheasant. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, my dad sit down at the end of the table eating chicken or something. <laughs> he wouldn't eat them. But yeah, I, I know I know people have to hunt them for food, so I you know. But just hunting them for fun just doesn't. I don't know. I don't get it. But. But then I didn't grow up on a farm, so if I had to, if I had to go out there and kill the cattle to eat, oh, I couldn't do that. Or chickens, I could, I could never. I, I'd be a vegetarian. I couldn't do it. So I commend the poultry farmers, and I know some of them don't. Some of the animals don't get treated all that well, but I do commend them for being able to do that. Grow our food, you know, raise our food, I mean. So what do you guys think of these ATC cards? Have you guys done them? I'm sure a lot of you have. Like I said, I never knew, I never heard of them. And um, there's there's groups on 
Facebook and I don't know if there's groups on Instagram really, but there's groups on Facebook. And like I said, they're always two and a half by three and a half. Um, you can do watercolor, or acrylic, stamping. You you can you can you know use whatever medium you want. You can mix mediums. Um, it doesn't matter, and it's uh, one of my favorite cards I got. And this is from a different, um, I think it's Amy Painter Art or Amy Painters. She did one. She just did one this past week too, but with my mom, my mom's passing and all that. Um, I just, I didn't have time to, to get into that one too, but, um, she does good ones. But anyway, I, one of hers, hers is one of the first ones I did. Um, gosh, it was back in early in the year. And one of the cards looked like a refrigerator. And so it was actually, and I've never seen them two layers. I don't know if you're really supposed to do that, but you opened it up, you opened up the card and the front was like a refrigerator. And the inside was all these stuff inside the refrigerator. And it was, it was just adorable. Can't remember who the artist was of that, but um, it was just adorable. I'm running out of green. I'm almost getting to the end here. I was thinking about maybe doing a card swap, hosting a, car, uh, a card swap myself um, when things settle down. But I'll be busy um, getting ready for the pumpkin festival. It's going to be a little different this year. Usually I just have pottery. But this year I'm actually going to... I've got some barn wood that I'm painting. And I might I might take some paintings. But I'm just not, not sure. I'm... Like I said, I'm not I'm not a, like a a great painter, but I do like uh, like the the collage. Do some collage pumpkins and and I do have all these uh, plastic plates. They're called chargers. You can get them at Home Depot or Amazon. Or I thought about painting some of those with pumpkins on them too. My Christmas ones didn't sell all that well, though. I think, you know, people come to buy pottery. They want to buy pottery. They want to buy painted plastic plates because, you know, I mean, you can't put them in the dishwasher. They're not, they don't hold up, you know, like a ceramic plate, obviously. Okay. So, this is pretty much done. Now the fun part, I get to outline it. Problem is I have to dry it. So I might, I'm gonna take my blow dryer out real quick. So hold your ears. I think that looks pretty good. This is one of my favorite water brushes, one of these it's actually, um, it's called Princeton. Um, this is number nine. Uh, I like that this is plastic. So if I leave it in the water bucket, the wood doesn't swell up and the brush gets ruined. That's my favorite watercolor brush. Okay, um, let's see. It's pretty wet. Oh, I should. Let me let me try to dry some of that. If not, I have to shut the video off and 
let it dry and come back. Just add them together because this is going to take a while to dry well enough for me to paint on. So I'll be right back. All right, it's all dry now. I took the blow dryer to it. And uh, let's see here. Let's see if you can see a little bit closer. Move a little bit closer. So these are the three pens I like to use. Just a very simple. You know, the Sharpie permanent, that way the water doesn't affect it. Just a black, just a black Sharpie, and then of course the thin black Sharpie. Now if you're doing fancy things, this is um, a really nice, it's called Prisma Color. This is an 03, and this is actually, um, it's a fine line marker, but this is archival quality. It's acid free and it's light fast. So if you were doing a really nice painting that someone was going to hang up, you'd want to use one like this. But let's try this one and see. I, I buy these by like the four or five pack <laughs> because when I'm draw, even when I'm drawing, I'm outlining stuff so much. So let's see here. Where do I start? I think I'll go by the circles first, the faces. Just very loosely outlining them. It's always fun when you cut them apart to see what they look like because they really do change you know, like now you're looking at it and it's like you know this big page of yellow flowers and it's I don't know it's kind of overwhelming but when you cut it into little cards it's not overwhelming anymore but you, you hope that you've got, you know, enough interest in all the cards. I really hope, I think next time, I don't know, I think next time I will do the outline on the front. The only thing is, if you're doing the outline on the front and you're doing acrylics, um, you really can't see the um, you really can't see your lines to go by and then you have to end up kind of marking them again.
I'll show these to you. Let me get a few more done. I'll show what they look like. So I know you can't see very well from up there. You probably can't see anything, can you? You see, you kind of see the difference. Um, I don't know if I can bring any closer. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't seem to really help. I start over here. Let me put some faces in here. just no way for you guys to see. these lines are kind of fine I know you're not being able to see this very well it looks good to me <laughs> but I'm sure I don't know, that looks stupid. Can you see the faces? So that's what I'm doing. I probably won't do this whole sheet then. Because I, I know you guys um, really can't see very well. Guys have to let me know if any of you guys do ATC cards, or if you know other people who host them. Like I said, I know there's um, there's a, I think there's a whole group on Facebook. I did want to show these two, though, um, cut up. <sighs> so, maybe I'll do a few more and then turn it off for the remainder of these. Because you really can't see anything. I don't know. You can kind of see them. There we go, get some more done. Hmm. 
my son, my other son, uh, he took my son Chris and I to the movies last week. We went and saw that new movie, Twisters. And um, I'll tell you, we really enjoyed it. Of course, we liked the first Twister. And this was basically, you know, kind of the same thing, but mixed up. And um, it just, you know, I forgot. We never go to the movies. And um, my father, my father's family, used to own a bunch of movie theaters when he was growing up. And so he... He loved to go to the movies, and um, I remember him taking my mom to the movie theaters. Of course, back then, you know, there was a, I don't know if they called it the real room, or where they, you know, they had the, oh gosh, not the, the video machines with the, with the big reel of film on them. <laughs> Not the not the digital that we had today, but he you know he'd take her up there and show her around and back when they were dating many many moons ago and um, so my son Keith he has a love of movies he he goes to the movies all the time and um, so I I just you know I just never go think to go to the movie theater you know like I just wait till it comes out and you know watch it at home but um there is something about going to a movie theater where it's you know bigger than life on the screen and then of course now they got those big comfortable chairs and you know getting a big tub of popcorn and some my diet coke Christopher got a um um a slushy. He loves the cherry slushies. But um but yeah, it was such a neat experience to go back to the movie theater. In in here where we live, um Tuesday nights is it's like six fifty a person to get in, so it's half the cost of, you know, going on the weekend. And that's nice too. So, so you know, sometimes things get. By the time you buy the popcorn and the pop and the candy, and it gets kind of ridiculous. But you guys like to go to the movies. So this marker, um, you know, they last pretty long. I like the thin one the best, but because the, the, the thick one, the bigger one, can be a little overwhelming. And, um, but this one, this thin one is hard to do sometimes when the paper's too rough especially on the wood it's pretty difficult on the on the wood ruins them pretty fast but let's see got this is gonna be a long video goodness I don't know how many of y'all keep till the end but you know, but some people may watch it in spurts or speed it up or, and that's fine. Not everybody's going to have the same interest as somebody else. I got Charlie sleeping at my feet here. I'll see if I can't, uh, he's getting so big. He's putting on some weight finally. He still has allergies though. He's um he's he's been itching and scratching and biting and so we got him some allergy medicine from the vet, but um that wasn't helping too much. So we just changed his food. 
And I don't know if it's the combination of the food change or the medicine's kicking in, but he's not itching near as much. It's like he can, he can finally settle down and, uh, you know, you know, sleep without itching constantly. Okay, now I'm putting some of the faces in. It looks like this is, let's see, I may have to switch over to the other one. This one looks like it's kind of dying. There we go. This one's a lot better. I was going to do all kinds of different faces, but I thought, you know, everybody's going to want a smiley face. We need everything we can to have stuff to smile about lately. I'll hold this up as soon as I'm done. Um... I think I did put a couple frowny faces on here. <laughs> the person who gets that one, maybe I'll get that one back. You do get one of your own back, which some of them don't do that. You don't get your own back. But with Amy, you do. She's such a sweet person. She um, picks out books to read to the the kids every week, and she sounds like a wonderful librarian. I always think that be that would have been a good job for me. Although I think I know our libraries, you got to be a have a um, a master's degree. I'm too right-brained to have a master's degree. <laughs> I would have never, I would have never made it. I didn't go to college. Took some art courses, of course, but I didn't go to actual college. My parents couldn't afford it. But the five of us, they kind of talked me out of it. You know, back then it was like, oh, you'll never make any money in art. You don't want to go to college for art. Which, you know, I could have been an art teacher, but, but that's hindsight now. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see this. There they are. What do you think? They don't look like much now, so let me cut them up for you real quick. This is a Fiskars. I'm sure you've seen these. Let's see if I can hold it up there. A Fiskars cut paper cutter, and it's not one of the real expensive ones, but um, it works really nice. Really nice. You just put your paper in there. Line the little wire up with, let's see here. Look at that. <laughs> Makes it so much easier than using a scissors. I don't know how it cuts it so fast, but man, it does a great job. And these are fun, too. I thought about making, um, hosting, like, a, I don't know if anybody does it. They probably do, but, like, a bookmark club and make bookmarks. Because I know I could use those. I'm always putting bookmarks in everything. Especially, like, you give a book, give a, give the gift, um, to a friend, you know? Give a book to a friend as a gift. 
those aren't any good. Be nice to put a handmade bookmark in there. <coughs> Excuse me. I finished my Diet Coke off. I don't have anything to drink. See how easy that is? You just line it up with the, whoops. Line it up with the, my grid line on the back. That's just. Now my friend, she's a real big one of these. But this is all I need. Well, oh, that one's not good. A couple more to do, and then I'll. What you doing down there, Charlie, huh? He's sleeping on my foot. I don't know if some of you remember back when Ernie used to sleep on my feet. Ernie's been gone like three years, I guess, now. We got Ernie and Archie buried together out back. They're buried right next to each other. All right, whoops, oh, didn't get that one all the way. There we go. Okay. Put that aside, let's see what these look like. Oh, they look cute. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, they're just, you know, not like they're, uh, you know, museum quality. <laughs> but yeah, they're, uh, looks like so far, there's faces in all of them. I think people will like getting these, won't they? Oh, I forgot to do a face on this one. It's kind of a funny face there in the middle. They look like they're all I don't like this. I don't like the eyes on this one. There we go. There we go. He's got to be happier than that. There we go. So if you're doing Amy Hand's ATC card swap for August, this is what you'll be getting. They're all, like I said, they're all the same. But yeah, I think they turned out cute. So there you have it. There's 20 of them. Then I'll mail them off to her tomorrow. And, um, and let's see. Let me see if I can't get, uh, let's see. You can see, can you see it? Big, my puppy. There he is. Charlie, hey, 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 you big lug. Come here, come here. Oh, my goodness sakes. You gotta get up and say hi to people. <laughs> I, can't see, I can't see your head, Charlie. Huh? Well, let's see. I don't know if I can pick him up or not. <laughs> hi, everybody. 
I know this is a long video, my goodness sakes. <laughs> come here, Tolly. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my goodness. Oh. Say hi to everybody, huh? Say hi to everybody. Oh goodness. <laughs> Always giving me kisses. Always giving me kisses. Look how big his paws are. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great evening. Say bye, Charlie. Say bye to everybody. <laughs>